we're going to have a look at this great plugin for accordion menus. So here we can see the accordion in action. And I'm going to show you why this is such a great tool to use on your website. We can also show you how if you go to hoodies, you'll see that when you expand, that hoodie is, is selected. So automatically, you know which category you're looking at on your website. And if we look at the mobile view, you'll see it's really cool. You can expand and collapse your categories. And once again, it shows you which category you're in. But there's a whole lot more to this plugin than just being able to set the accordion view. So to have a look at that, we're going to head over to the back end and I'm just going to show you the name of the plugin. So the name of this plugin is called the IKS menu. And if we have a look at what that looks like, this is what it looks like in the WordPress repository. And this is for the free version. There is a premium version which allows you to, to do a whole lot more. But the free version you can use on your website and still offers a host of features. To set up the rest of the website, you'll see standard Oxygen with WooCommerce, WooCommerce, and then Woo sidebars for the sidebar. Let's head over to the plugin and have a look at some of the settings. So what's really great is when you set up your menu, you then have various options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the, uh, the menu that I created earlier called product categories and I'm going to create a new menu from scratch so you can see just how easy it is to do that. We'll call this product categories again and we'll hit the next button and you'll see here immediately you can set it up for taxonomies or a custom WordPress menu. In this case we're just going to use taxonomy and go with the products but you can use it for uh, standard taxonomies or even custom post type taxonomies and here we're going to go with the product categories but i could also have gone with the product tags so we'll go with product categories and hit finish so now we are ready to edit the menu and immediately you'll see that we have this list on the right hand side and that's a preview of what the menu looks like now the first thing you'll see is that uh, we have uncategorized clothing, music, and decor, but in uncategorized, we don't have any products. So we want to hide the empty menu items. This will then work dynamically. The moment a product is activated in that category, that menu item will immediately reappear. And right here in the menu where we open to edit without pressing any tabs, we can simply move over to hide empty terms. The menu will update and you'll see that the menu is already updated. So this is a dynamic menu and will only activate a category if there is a product or a post inside that category. Right, we can then change the order. So if we don't like it, we can change the to the menu order or we can change it to name. In this case, then it'll be clothing, decor and music or we can head back and do it by ID. So here we can customize the way that we'd like that menu to work. So for this exercise, let's just go with uh, the name. And you'll see that it's clothing, decor, music, alphabetically. So let's have a look at including or excluding terms. And this works with the term IDs. So if we wanted to exclude one of those categories from the menu, we could head over to products. Let's head over here to categories. We'll open that in a new tab. And to get the category ID, we just hover over the category. And if we look in the bottom left-hand corner, we'll see that the ID there, for example, is 16. And that is 19. So let's exclude a category. So let's say we don't want decor in our menu. The ID of 21. We can head over here and then enter the term 21. And the moment we click on the next block, you'll see that it then applies that to the preview and 21 is missing. We remove the term and it appears back in the menu. So that is a way of excluding with all children or exclude terms without children. So without children would be... Um, once again, a 
a list of category items and the children of the excluded term will be removed will be moved to the parent of this term so if let's have a look at that so if we go to clothing you'll see that clothing has children we head over to clothing with the id of 16 and what we're going to do here now is remove clothing and you'll see it updates and now you'll see that all the subcategories have been moved to the top level of the menu and we set it back and they're back under clothing so that's a great way if you only want to display the children and not the parent for your categories and then um, we can also look at a search so uh, this is a search criteria to match terms so let's have a look here we'll go with decor and you'll see now only decor is visible in the menu if i go and remove decor then you'll see that all the menu items return so here is another way that you can filter what appears in your menu so let's see we could just go with dec and there we have decor and let's say we also have music let's see if a comma separated list will work and no it won't so it will only then handle that particular term so if you have menu items that have a particular term in them you can quite easily create then a custom menu as long as those terms appear in the name of the menu items so that's another um, nice feature to think of and then here we have child of so term id to retrieve all taxonomy elements that are children of the element with a specified id regardless of their nesting level so we know that clothing id number is 16. i'll put in 16 and there we have just those term um, terms that are children of category with the id of 16. so another way to set up the menu the way that you want it and here what we can do is the term id to retrieve, retrieve taxonomy elements that are children of the element with, with the specified id and are at the first nesting level if you specify zero then only top level elements will be displayed so let's specify zero and now you'll see that clothing doesn't have any subcategories and we remove that well let's update that to a one and now you'll see that the first level Uh, that's not going to work we have to put in the 16 and there you'll see that the elements appear but if you only wanted to show the parents a simple zero and only the top level another great feature here is that if you only want to display childless uh, menu items so those are menu items that don't have a parent then you'll see we have clothing decor music and if we say childless immediately we just left with the decor music so there are a whole lot of ways that you can customize how that menu works once you're done you simply say save and then to publish take your short code and we'll head over to appearance the widgets and we've created a sidebar here already for the products so this is the product sidebar this was the previous um, code so let's just remove that and now we'll add a short code and that will be the menu short code we'll hit update and now when we go over to the shop so here we are on our website we'll head over to the shop page and you'll see that we have our accordion menu in place right so and if we were to make an, a change to that menu so if i head over to iks menu and i was to change something here just for example and i said don't hide the empties 
hit save and we go and have a look and you'll see that uncategorized is visible immediately so that's how easy it is and it is arranged alphabetical by name as we specified so that's how easy it is to include that on the website and to manipulate what is shown in that menu if we head over here to the menu source you can see we can also change the source here it's not only when you create the menu and the taxonomy if we wanted to change that we could come in now and change it to something else so you're not locked in when you create your menu initially then let's just have a look quickly at the menu so here are some common elements um, so collapse collapse children items collapse expanded item and then on the pro version use parent item as toggle on the nested level so the pro does unlock a whole lot of additional features uh, let's have a look um, at the initial expansion now this is a pro feature and that just means that when the menu opens let's say we had chosen a category called hoodies you would be able to see this menu expanded to show that that's where you are in the free version it doesn't expand the menu automatically to show you where you are only in the pro version it would reload the page like that the free version would reload like this and you'd have to expand that menu so that is uh, one of the reasons why you might want to go to the pro version but you don't need to for it to work and then here we have some animation settings for the menu with the pro having a few extra but not required if you're going to use it in the free version on the display side there are a host of things that you can do to customize your uh, the display so we start with the container if you didn't like that container look and you wanted to change the color so for example let's have a look at the width so let's make the width let's make that a hundred percent so it fills um, the full screen and then we also have the max width we've already set the width so we won't work with the max width but you you can set that and then of course you've got options here to change the background color so just for purposes of the demo let's change that so we'll make uh, that might be a bit strong let's make that a lighter blue um right and we can also set a border radius and the border radius let's set that to five so it just gives it a nice rounded edge and you can tie the value so that it they're applied all the time and here we can have a look at uh, just the background color behind the menu but in our case we're going to leave that um, as white uh, you can also set uh, margins and padding around the item if you wanted to you could then also create some padding if you wanted everything to be a little bit more indented like that so now you can see we have our background color for the container and it has the rounded edge and our menu menu now sits inside that area you can also customize terms so here we are looking at specific terms you'll see at the moment that's what it looks like so you've got different uh, states so you can look at the hover the focus the current the child so if you wanted to change the hover for example that's the background color for hover if we made that red just for demo purposes now you'll see that when we hover that red is now the color and uh, let's save that so that's the hover state on the pro version you do have some custom style options but we won't be looking at those right now then you can also look at the current item so at the moment the current background color is this dark gray so let's make it a let's make it this deeper red and now because we're in the free version we're not going to have the option to change the text color unless we head over to link and there we change the text color 
so we'll make that white and let's save that so now you'll see that uh, here we chose the main state which is wrong so we must just remember that it will be black the default color so let's just reset that uh, or blue and then what we're going to do is we're only going to make it when it's the current item we're going to change the text color to white so let's save that and we'll just head over to the website And now you'll see that there we have the clothing and hoodies is selected and hoodies now has the red background with the white writing. So that was nice and easy to customize. So these are just some of the things that you can do. You can change the toggle icon. So if we wanted to change that also nice and easy in the free version, you have several options and in the pro you have a few more, but quite easy to change the toggle item maybe we do something like that and then of course the color can be changed so here again we'll just go with a red and you'll see it changes immediately and remember here that we're in the main state and once again here we can change that so let's have a look at for example um, in the hover state so in the hover it changes to black what we might do then is Let's change that to this bright yellow. And now you'll see when we hover, it changes to the bright yellow. So nice and responsive. And uh, we could even look at setting a border. So if we wanted to do a border, uh, we can do that. So let's set a border width to one. And we're in the hover state. So let's go back to the main state so we can see the changes. And here we, you can see we have the width, so we could even change the width. And we can set a border radius here, maybe to five, and lock that in. So that would now have a border. And you'll see that because of that, we haven't changed the hover state, it does create this funny effect and actually goes off the side of the page so maybe not such a good idea unless we change all the settings um, not going to go into all the settings right now but that gives you an idea of what you can do you can even come in with an image and that would display an image with your menu item so that would then pull that image in from the uh, for the uh, for the item so There you can see with the default placeholder where that would come in. So here you can see that you it would pull in then the icon that you have for your category. So you can also then quite easily include the image with your menu item, which is great. Sometimes you want to do that. Here you have some options again, and then of course on the custom you have a few more. So, but that's not something that uh, we're going to have a look at right now. So let's just go back to do not display. Go back to our standard menu item. And then you can also include the post count and that's a pro feature. So you could have that in your menu item. So those are just some of the things that you can do to customize your menu. And uh, yeah, you can change the size of that Chevron. So if you wanted to make your icon here a little bit bigger and easier to see you can do that we're just going to head over to the hover and remove the settings that we made there so that it doesn't shake as much as it was shaking so let's save that we'll head over to the menu we'll refresh and you'll see that there's our nice big chevron and you hover over and there we have the item highlighted there are a whole lot of other customizations that you can make. So that's entirely up to you. Um, if we go and just have a look at the term, you could include some margin here. So maybe you want to add some margin at the bottom. 
and now you'll see that each item now becomes an individual item and that might be something that you'd like to include and if you wanted to add a border radius you can give it that effect now with the border radius so and we preview that so you'll see now that you've taken your menu items they're now nicely highlighted when you have a look at the sub menu you'll see that they appear but now it's very hard to tell where the one ends and the other one starts so that would mean going into your sub menu items and customizing them more so it may not be such a good idea but you can also preview here and you'll see it's the same as you saw it on the front end right so if we go back to the state so here you have child so if we go to the child items now and we made a border radius of zero now you'll see here that they don't have that radius so if you wanted to make these stand out a little bit so that they don't get confused you can quite easily come in here now and change their background color to whatever you want so that when you look at it on the front end you're not so confused by the so there you can see these are child items and these are the main level items and you'll see that hoodies is highlighted in white to show you that you're looking at hoodies and yeah you can see the t-shirt so that's how um, how great that is how easy that is to set up and to customize there are some other things that you can also do so lots of uh, details here that you can customize to make the menu look exactly the way that you want you also have a manage option so if you like a setup you can export it uh, you can copy appearance settings you can also then import settings over here so great you can simply copy the settings go to another menu paste them in there and import them so that's how easy it is to uh, keep your um, designs and then in the pro version you also have a whole lot of skins they may not um, be fetched now because we're not in the pro version but these are a whole lot of presets that you can use on your website so really great uh, for that so this is the free version um, and as you can see it has a whole host of features that you can use um, when uh, creating the same menu on your website and you can create it to look exactly the way that you want I'm using oxygen here as my theme builder and you'll see that the menu looks a little bit squashed here in the side so if we want to just expand that to the full width i'm just going to come in here and have a look at the um, the div element for that particular item and you'll see it's this particular um, item here and i can copy that head over to oxygen i'm already in oxygen i can go to my custom style sheet and just pop that in there and just go with 100 percent and let's save that and then when i head over now to my website and refresh you'll see that that menu now expands to fit, fit the full width right so that's how easy it is to create your own menu with your own settings uh, using the free plugin from IKS so just to have a look at that again let's head over to the plugins and you'll see that that is the IKS menu now before um, signing off I'm just going to show you what they offer in terms of um, the menu and the pricing so if we have a look at the pricing the uh, feature that i like the most about the pricing is the fact that if you scroll down there's the comparison between the free and the pro menu but 
if you want to do unlimited sites, which uh, as a developer you often want to do, and you head over to the pricing, you'll actually see that they include a lifetime offer of $99. So that would be unlimited sites for $99, which is um, fantastic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you like the plugin. It's absolutely excellent. And if you like the features and you want things like the expanded view open when you're going to look at um, a subcategory, then definitely get the pro version. And then of course, you've also got the skins so that you don't have to necessarily um, create your menu from scratch. So if we just have a look here at the home page, you'll see that this is an example of one of their skins. So that just gives you an idea of, you know, that you really can do a whole lot of things. Here you have your menu with icons, here with a sidebar. So there's a whole lot that you can do. And then of course, you can speed up with skins and they have a couple of skins that you can look into. And here are some examples of those. And these are live examples that you can come in and have a look at. So there's really no end to what you can do on the pro version when it comes to different skins, different effects. So that's why I really like this plugin and the support is excellent. If you have a question, I'll get back to you really quickly. So I hope you like that video and I hope you like the, the plugin. Thank you for watching.